Hello? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ross Draws, and today we'll be drawing the Mona Lisa! Hold on, hold on, I get it. The Mona Lisa is the most popular painting in the world, but master studies are a huge thing in the art community, and it's a chance for us to get in the mindset of the master, learn about their technique, color choices. I'm excited to put my own little spin on it, you know, introduce Mona Lisa to some color dodge. Oh my we'll God. see what happens. Rock Jaws, the Mona Lisa. Master studies are a great way for us to improve. You know, it's a chance for us to study their technique, their color, their medium, and why it was so relevant in their time. I've done a lot of uh, film studies, master studies of Zorn, Alphonse Mucha. This is the first time I've ever done a Da Vinci master study, and why wouldn't I? Because Da Vinci, da Vinci? was a sculptor, a painter, an engineer, an architect, a mathematician, oh my gosh. This was painted in the 1500s, and Netflix wasn't around back then, so I guess, he had to find other things to do. And her real name is actually Lisa Gurdini. So let's see what she's up to. Maybe she's on a, maybe she's on Instagram. Lisa, zero followers, zero following. Let's be her first follower. Follow, like, first one to like. Hey Lisa, looking cute girl. Let's get started. The Mona Lisa was known for kind of ambiguous expression. You know, is she sad, is she mad? Is she thinking about pizza? Pizza time. So I'm just gonna try to sketch it out and see where that takes us. So I'm gonna try my very, very, very best to keep the essence and integrity, but kind of give my own spin on it. Master, copy done. Skin tones. I know skin tones. There we go. Some progress. And also uh, the Mona Lisa was praised also for the, uh, the background, but at this rate, I don't think we're gonna get there. <laughs> It's hard because the Mona Lisa doesn't have eyebrows. I'm just not in any comfort zone <laughs> at all. Master studies! Why are they so hard? All right, this maybe proves that um, Leonardo da Vinci was an amazing artist. And I have a long, long, long way to go. <laughs> That looks a lot better. And evidently, the original piece had eyebrows. But over time, during maintenance, you know, trying to keep pigments preserved, she lost her eyebrows. <laughs> but let's uh, draw them back in and see what the Mona Lisa would look like. I think the arc is around here. Bush your eyebrows, right? Because they don't have tweezers back then, right? Or do they? I don't know. Oh! Oh my god! All right, maybe not. Take them off. <laughs> the Mona Lisa's expression is supposed to be a little more ambiguous, so we are going to make her a little more sad. That? Okay. All right, getting there. What if we just... What if we just... <laughs> I have control D. Da Vinci didn't have it, but I do. It's looking good so far, so I'm gonna keep work on it, and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back, and here's the progress of our Mona Lisa so far. Not bad. Probably one of the hardest paintings I've ever painted. Uh, I started painting the hands. Oh no. Okay, I wanna add some uh, Roth flair into it. You know, this is a half master study, half Rothschild painting. We'll add some uh, butterfly. Oh, the butterfly. So I know this technique was available in the 1500s, but we're gonna photo bash. Yeah, so we're gonna go on Google and find some butterflies. And we're gonna place these butterflies and try to arrange them in a nice composition. Maybe this one can be flying up here. <laughs> She's been sitting here for the painting for a very long time. That's why these butterflies are just sitting on top of her. And I feel like flowers can be a great uh, Roth Droth addition. Yeah, so we added some flowers and butterflies, but I want to stay true to the essence of the Mona Lisa. And so we're going to try to get in the mind of Da Vinci in the 1500. Oh my God. They had no Wi-Fi, no anime, no energy drinks. Oh, what was Da Vinci thinking? Hello? What is this device? 
Oh my God, it's beautiful. I should have vented this. Nice, okay, I'm here to teach you guys something. When I was painting this, I really wanted to contrast hard versus soft. A lot of the details in the shadows gets lost and things in the light get extremely detailed. I really want to push those two concepts. How did these butterflies get here? Following the form. Nice, that's looking a lot better. Yes, it's all about pushing the contrast between hard versus soft. I hope you guys learned something and I really love this device. And so I'm going to uh, keep using it and I'll check back soon. Dodge time! Ooh. Mother Lisa, poker face! Rambas, Kubakas! Ramba Kubakta Hedra! Flying Machine Hurricane! Hadoken! Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoy that. Milo, what do you think? Do, do you know who I am? Okay. We, oh, God. I never thought I would be redrawing the Mona Lisa. I learned so much. And if you're upset I redrew the Mona Lisa, you can email Milo at milo at rockjaws.com. And if you want to win a book, or print, this video's question is, if you could time travel back to the 1500s, what is one thing you could bring with you? I would bring Milo. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below and we'll choose a lucky subscriber. If you wanna learn more about my painting process and get extended video tutorials, please check out my Patreon. And I've been streaming on Twitch every Tuesdays and Saturdays. It's a whole lot of fun. You can check it out at twitch.tv slash rothdraw. Next week, I am drawing with my left hand, oh which is my non-dominant hand. Kind of scared so don't forget to subscribe remember every day is a color dodge day